Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial we'll be looking at plot annotation. Let's say you made a plot and you, let's say you made a plot and you want to indicate some specific features in that plot. Okay, and in that case uh, annotations will help you. What it'll do is it'll help you to specify or emphasize a particular region in the plot and thereby you can actually tell uh, tell about it in much greater detail. Okay. Now, to make annotations in the plot is very simple. So, just for that to happen, we just need a simple plot. So, I just created a variable x which actually varies between 0 and 2 pi. And then I made the sine curve and cosine curve. And I just have the plot of the sine curve and cosine curve over here. Let me just uh, comment this out. We'll come to this in the future. I just made a plot of the sine curve and the cosine curve over here. And I just have some grid legend box title and the show option. Thereby, we have something to look at. And if I run this particular code over here, this is how it is. A simple figure, the default style. And now, uh, for the annotation, I would like to see how... Uh, uh, I would like to point out the local maxima and the local minima of the sine curve. For that, uh, what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to start... Just first, let's actually plot those two. That's actually much simpler. With these two lines over here, I am plotting the local maxima and the local minima of the sine curve. Okay, the local maxima happens at an angle pi by two. The local minima happens at uh, uh, minus pi by two. Min 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 minus pi by two or uh, three pi by two. Okay, and I'm plotting the the first one with the blue blue circle, a uh, second one with the black circle or a black uh, mark marker, whatever you call it. And now, if I run this particular piece of code. There you see the maximum is plotted in blue, whereas the minimum is plotted in black. There you go. And now these two dots will help us. These two markers will help us to annotate the code. Okay. For uh, now, for the annotation, it, the command is fairly simple. This is all you need to know. This is all you need to know. Okay. Now, the p if it uh, if it put pld dot annotate, and if we just put a string, and that will take care of it. And this particular string that you give over here, which is actually called as s equals, okay, this is actually your string uh, that 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 will give you the annotation. This is actually the text to display. And now what we can actually do is this is not this won't be enough, but if, because if you run this piece of code, you will get a you will get an error because it needs at it needs the positional argument x y at at the minimum. So you give this x y argument, and this is this is th now this will be perfectly fine. This x y argument helps you to specify which point you you want to sp which point that you want to annotate or add information to. So I want to specify. I want to lo have a look at minus. I mean the sine maximus which occurs at pi by two comma one. So I specify that particular value over here. And now if I run this code over here, perfect. Now we have the label over here coming and starting at one, uh, starting at pi by two comma one perfectly. And now this is this is okay. This is actually good for good for a start. Now I would like to control the control the coordinates of sign uh, this text. I want I, may, I might want to push it down or push it to the left or right as per my convenience. I can do that. How? There is this option called as X Y text, and this option over here. This op this uh, keyword over here helps me to give the x y coordinate for the label. Now, so this is actually the coordinate for the text to start. Now, if I don't give this, it will take the x y label as the x y point to be the default value and proceed. If I give this, it'll have a little more control. So now, if I run this code over here, clearly you can see since I push this x y test to be at pi pi comma one, pi comma one, this text actually started at pi comma one. Okay, pi comma one. So I can actually push this push this over here. Now, if you want to play around with it and push it to some other region, which I I can totally do. Okay, for instance, instead of now an MP dot sign this value over here, we put something like 0.75. Okay, 0 0.75, and I run this code over here. There you go. Now the sign local maxima string has pu has actually pushed pushed down to 0 0.75. The location being pi comma 0.75. Perfect. And now what I can actually do is uh, that to complete this, we need to put an arrow connecting this line uh, from this line and this particular point, and that is even simpler. All I have to do is just uh, add this, 
arrow properties dictionary that is available arrow properties dictionary that uh, that is available in this annotate option okay so you have to give uh, you have to give specify the keyword arrow props and then with uh, open a dictionary and then open a dictionary option and then write these attributes inside it or the keyword arguments inside it okay to start with we just need a fa we just need an arrow with blue color so i guess giving this face blue, face color as blue then i'm shrinking it to one unit in size although not much of a big deal and now if we run this particular piece of code over here there we go now we have an arrow pointing towards the maxima and uh, it's actually pointing saying that it's sign local maxima perfect okay now with this uh, annotating the maxima annotating the local maxima of the sign curve is done if you want you can actually do a little bit of make it a little more fancier as per your choice but hey this is just a starter now with this you can actually go and fancy this up as per your convenience similarly uh, i can actually do this for the local minima sign local minima in exactly the same way i i i chose to and the same count same variables over here I mean same variables as we mentioned on the top okay and um, I just I just have to play around with the different coordinates to uh, coordinates to get as per my convenience and this is perfectly customizable. There we go. Now we have the local minima point, point, pointed out as well. Perfect. Okay. Now, if you want to know more in details as to uh, what are these variables and uh, what are the other options that you get to have, you no, know, you can actually visit these two web pages. The first web page is actually the HTML page, a reference HTML page for the PyPlotLib API, wherein if you go through it, you will get to know all the functions that all the functionality that are available, like the annotate. Okay, if you want to know more about the annotate, annotate command, just go to this particular link in the section in this web page, and you want to know more about what are the other arrow properties or other things that you can put in, you can actually go inside and go to this matplotlib.patches.fancy arrow patch on in this pa patches api html so this is how the matplotlib api um, pipeline api html looks like and this is the region for the annotate option annotate option and uh, you can you can look at all the other variables it takes we just looked at only x s x y and x x y text and also the arrow properties arrow properties over here there are other informations as well like uh, text coordinates X coordinates and XY coordinates, th uh, those might be a little more fancier stuff. And uh, if you want, you can actually work with that, and it'll, it'll just f work just fine for you. You can that actually helps you to make a lot more uh, modifications as per your choice. And if you want to know more about uh, the different kinds of pa arrows, arrow styles that you want, just click this link over here: matplotlib.patches.fancy arrow patch. This will point out to this particular page over here, wherein. Um, the fancy arrow class fancy arrow patches is actually explained in detail and they have all the variables mentioned over here and these variables help you to specify the properties for the connection style between connection style between two two points or the arrow style that you like to give like the different kinds of arrow style that you like to have and the default width length angle head length and all that which you can actually go and change afterwards and other keyword arguments that are available for them are these like the some figure option the face color option the line style option line width option it, these variables are applicable depending upon which one you choose so for the arrows some of them like the face color and the length would be more suitable and some for, for some of them they may not be so just to give you a, just to give you a, a broad idea you can actually go and customize them to your will, will and wish they were making the custom making your uh, plots as per your convenience now with that being said that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video till then take care